Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the motion. Mr. Speaker, number one, uh, what has killed Kenya Power in this nation is uh, poor leadership. That is management, poor management, and to be precise, is corruption. Mr. Speaker, I'm in public investment committee where we oversight Kenya Power. And the losses that Kenya Power is making, Mr. Speaker, you can't imagine. And just the other day, they were making profits. As at now, they've started making losses. Mr. Speaker, electricity literally, and any nation cannot do without electricity. And increasing the prices of electricity in a nation literally increases the prices of goods and services in that nation. Mr. Speaker, if you increase the value of electricity today, the manufacturers who are manufacturing different goods will literally increase the prices of goods to compensate for the high value of electricity. That's why the cost of hunger is high, because when the electricity is high, then the cost of production must be high. Therefore, the finished product, the cost will be high. Mr. Speaker, and that goes to any other good that is being manufactured, because in every factory or industry, electricity is used. Number two, Mr. Speaker, even the cost of fuel will be high, depending on the cost of electricity. Because in this country, if you increase the cost of electricity the way it is, then the pumps are even using electricity. Therefore, the cost of fuel must go up. Mr. Speaker, the cost of electricity mu must not only be reduced in this country, but electricity should be provided for free in this country, like other countries. We remember when President Gaddafi was in Libya, electricity was free. There's a country called Turkmenistan in Central Asia, bordered by Caspian Sea and the Karakum Desert. Mr. Speaker, electricity is free. I'm mentioning what's bordering that country just so that you know that I know that electricity is free in that country. Mr. Speaker, even in our houses, marriage cannot be very, very sweet and successful when the cost of electricity is high. Why, Mr. Speaker? Because even the process of lovemaking, you need to see what you are eating. So when the cost of electricity is high, you will be so depressed, Mr. Speaker, you can't even deliver. Because when the lights are on and the cost is high, then, Mr. Speaker, you can't deliver well, Mr. Speaker. So it is breaking even marriages. That is the only thing that we have. Don't so, what, what, what is out of order? Mr. Speaker, what, what did the Honorable Babu Wino must know that what, what, what did he say there what his, did he say? the language he's using is totally out what of order. What did he say? He must, but Mr. Speaker, you are not listening. You, uh, that's why I'm telling you. What did he you say? You must call Honorable Babo Wino to order because we have children in this house. What and did he this, say? Yes, and this, this proceedings are also covered live. If he wants to make contribution, he must make meaningful contribution. Not that kind of contribution. That's why he must keep for our Monday activities. Thank you very much. Uh, on, 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 on Mr. Report. Speaker. Order. Order. <laughs> the Honorable Baba Wino has so far been very meaningful. I think, but for one small aberration, but so far I think he's been very meaningful in his contribution, and I would ask him to proceed along the lines of standing orders. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Senior Counsel, I stand guided, but Senior Counsel, if we say Marriage. The institution address, of marriage is constitutionally. The address the speaker. Mr. Speaker, through the speaker. The institution of marriage is constitutionally recognized, enshrined in the constitution. And Mr. Speaker, love making is a parliamentary language. I didn't choose a parliamentary language, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, uh, <laughs> you're saying eating is okay. So, Mr. Speaker, be that as it may, I support this motion. And Mr. Speaker, the cost of electricity must be made to be zero shillings in this country because a common mwananchi, wherever they are, 
Mr. Speaker, it is very, very hurtful for us to subject these Kenyan citizens who are coming from very poor backgrounds to high cost of electricity, taking into account that they don't have sustainable jobs, no sustainable businesses. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I support the motion. Kenya Power should not monopolize the supply or distribution of electricity in this country. Thank you. For the students, I'll give this chance to the Honorable Tiende and uh, wish you could take a short time. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I'll take a very short time. First of all, allow me to welcome this.